Hi everyone, it's Kathy Maxson. Hey, today we're gonna do a general DIY craft. We are going to take the Dollar Tree Styrofoam circles, you get two for $1.25, and we're going to make a reindeer ornament. So let's get started, let me point you down to the table. Let's go over the items we're gonna use today. We're gonna be using these round foam circles, you get two for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, we're going to be using glitter. I picked this 16 uh, piece pack. I believe I picked it up at Walmart and I'm only going to be using the brown out of here because I do have red glitter somewhere else. Um, I'm going to pick up these small wooden dowels from Walmart. These eye head and eye pins um, we're going to be using. I got that also from Walmart. Um, if you don't want to use like an ornament, you can always go buy some straws and you can use the straws and you can put um, like as a pick. So it would be a pick. We're going to be using, uh, we're going to need scissors, cutters. The paint we're going to be using is nutmeg brown. We are making a reindeer. I'm going to use flag red. I have black. Pink Parfait, we're going to make some cheeks. Uh, I have black slick paint, so this is like dimensional paint, and I have white dimensional paint. Um, I have paint brushes. You want a stiffer brush for your getting in the pores of the styrofoam. You can also pick up at Walmart now that it's Christmas they got their Christmas decorations up these ornament hooks I thought these were really cute they're um, like a little spiral so I haven't looked to see if they will actually fit in these pin heads though but I was gonna put in like a piece of jute or something like that to hold my ornament so I'm gonna show you my sample I just laid a whole mess of stuff the dimensional paint was wet but this is what my sample, this is what we're going to be making. You can see uh, it made a mess everywhere because I laid uh, my bag of glue sticks in it. So make sure, you know, when you're done using your dimensional paint that you set it somewhere where it's not going to get uh, in the way. So I have the back side painted already and I got some sparkle in it. So we're going to paint this side that we will use, you know, front or back. I have another one that is all painted. For video purposes, I wanted to make sure I was ready. Um, have some, you know, wet wipes or something like that handy. Paper towels, a little water, because um, you will get probably paint and stuff all over you. I'm not really good with the dimensional paint, because um, it always seems to have an air bubble or something. Oh, looks even got black on me too. So we're just going to spread the paint on, and if you get your stiff brush, you can get it in the pores better. Um, the sides I did have to do two coat because the sides are kind of smooth. So the sides I did have to do two coats, and as long as you can get it in these pores. So you don't see you know you're not gonna see any of the white um, I had different brushes I was using like I have like a little um see this one was like way too soft I even have this little one because I thought maybe the little one can help me you know get around the edges but if you pick it up you can kind of see like here around the edges, I can still see white. So I'm just gonna So when you pick out a design that you like, I just went and Googled reindeer faces, cartoon reindeers. I um I found a couple that I liked and I kind of put the two of them together. Um, oh, we are using fun foam. I do have my pieces cut out. Um, so that was another 
thing we will be using as well. But I just want to make sure that I get it good in the pores so you don't see any white. Like I said, just kind of get it in there. And then while the paint is wet, I am going to sprinkle the glitter on. So I already have my little brown glitter. This is the one I used out of that, it was a 16 pack. So all I'm gonna do, cause I kinda gotta lift it so I can see the glitter coming out. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Now the glitter's coming out. So I just kinda sprinkle the glitter around. Now glitter up as much as you want. Um, on my sample, I used bigger flakes. You can see it was, um, and I really didn't like that. So I uh, went in my stash and found some other ones. Okay, so I set that one aside. And then what I did, um, you can see this is how light it gets if you don't do two coats on the sides. So what I did, I have, I cut, so this was, this was my idea. Well, like I said, I Googled. So these were a couple different things that I got. If you have a big piece of styrofoam, you could make this instead of on the round disc but i figured i just wanted to show you guys how to just make something already pre pre-cut for you pre-made just make something on the round disc so what i did i took this and i printed it out on cardstock you can um you know if you have projector paper something like that if you have Mm, I don't remember what it's called. Where you seal, where you seal the stuff, seal the sides. So you could um, cut it out, and it would be like a stencil with the clear plastic. I'll think of it here sooner or later. I'm gonna plug in my glue gun though. Don't want to forget that. So I have one already partially dry. So what I did is, I, like I said, I cut like a stencil out from this original that I decided. This is a little bigger than the round, so I kind of adjusted what I wanted. So again, this is just cardstock. So I'm going to line up the top of the, the head that I have here at the top, and we're going to take black. If you have old plastic lids, these work great to do paint. I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to hold my stencil down, and we're just going to dab the black around my stencil. So we're going to make the eyes. So I do have an Easter Bunny that I also did with a styrofoam disc. So you can go back and look at my old videos and see that. I did the same thing. I used the I used the cardstock as my template. So I have black. And see so when you cut it open, I just have it in like a baggie. So I was gonna try maybe. So I'm gonna sprinkle black glitter over the eyes while it's wet. So then my eyes will be glittery. And my hands are gonna be glittery. Okay, so I got some of that sprinkled on. And then what I'm going to do, oops, so 
So what you can do is leave your stencil there because that's why I kind of cut the nose. I think the nose is closer to the eyes than in my little picture there. So, and then this stencil is going to line up with the bottom and then I'm gonna line, I lined it up there. So then we're gonna get the red, flag red. I actually had to uh, get a glass of water so I can, um, if you have more than one brush, have a couple brushes handy. So then we're just going to take the red and we're going to do the same thing. Try to stay in your stencil. you want you can take this lower brush try not to like go under you want to pounce it up and down that one just makes the uh, brown come up with the red so then while the red is there I got these little little jars they're not really good because um, they don't have like a shaker on the top so I'm just going to try to tap out just a little bit of red glitter you can put a lot that kind of came out a lot so I must maybe spread it around here with my hand If you have red dimensional paint, you can also use the dimensional paint around the nose, around the eyes. I did not do that. I did not have any red dimensional paint. So let's get the lid on the red. So that is our eyes and our nose. And just be very careful, like I said, with when your paint is wet and what I did I already cut out my foam my foam pieces for my ears and my antlers so I originally was going to do um, like two pieces together but then I decided I'm just going to I think this one goes there because I, I drew I could see pencil marks so the ears are going to go kind of like that. So I just cut a little piece that I'm going to put behind here that's going to hold my little wooden dowel in. That's the way the ear goes. Make sure you uh, put it the correct way. I had one that I ruined because I uh, had the ear facing the wrong way. So these dowels are, it uh, doesn't say how big they are. So they're six inches long and I didn't really use that much. So I'm going to cut it probably about an inch and a half. So we're going to cut some pieces. You know, maybe I'll even cut this one in half. So I'll use the taller ones for the antlers, and I'm going to use these shorter ones for the ears. So remember, I flip the ears upside down. I'm just going to stick a little glue, and then I'm going to stick my stick in it. I'm going to put a little glue on the outside of that. And I'm just going to hold that in place. 
till the hot glue sets up a little. And when you use glitter, it's gonna get everywhere. So a little glue, my glue stick. Put a little glue around it. And your glue strings will get everywhere as well. So this way I just kind of tried to make the back a little neater. I really did want to do um, two pieces together, but my pieces kept not coming out evenly. So like if I was looking from the front, I could see part of the back and vice versa. So those are the ears. And then on the antlers, I'm going to make them go this way. So I want to flip that upside down and then figure out that's going to go like that. And that's going to go like that. So these are about three inches. In case anybody needed to know, those are about three inches. The ears are about two and a half in length. Just, you know, look to see what will look right um, in your, with the dimensions. Just, like I said, just draw it out. Um, and then I markered, I used a uh, marker. So then I could print copies and then, like I said, I printed it on cardstock. So then I could make my stencils. So I just kind of want the glue to set up. Try to do this left-handed. Put that one there. I originally tried on my uh, original one. I was just going to glue the ears to the side of the styrofoam, and that did not work out so well. Because I was going to kind of make like a little valley a little to try to get the uh, fun foam to kind of go into so you know just clean up as much as you can like this had a little glue coming out the back so just kind of clean up you know because somebody still might see the back so you know make it look as nice as you can so then why I'm going to do the ears and the antlers before I get the dimensional paint on is because I don't want to smear it. Let me get my paint brushes yeah, in the water. That's why I like these um, clear plastic lids. You could just go, we have a utility tub, so you could just go um, get those rinsed off in the utility tub. So I think I'm going to put my ear about the top of the eye. Or should I put the antlers on first? They're, they're everywhere. So I think this antler went about here and this antler is gonna go about here, I believe, like that. And I see glue strings. So this is where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna put a little mark I'm going to poke just a little tiny hole where I want to put that one. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot some glue in there. And then I want that one about there. So I just poked two little holes. I'm going to stick my glue gun nozzle in it. Squirt a little glue in there. And then we're just going to now poke this the rest of the way. So it's going to have some glue. There we go. Got glitter everywhere. So there's our antlers. 
And then let's get the ears on. So like I said, the ears are probably gonna go like just the top of the eye. So again, I'm gonna stick a little hole. I can see glue strings on the front of my face. And I'll probably put this one here. I'm gonna poke a little hole. I'm gonna do my nozzle in, put a little glue, my nozzle in to make a bigger hole. Put in a little glue. And I'm gonna push it in the rest of the way. Put that one in the rest of the way. You can see, let it let it dry, and uh, you could either use a um, blow dryer to get the um, glue strings off, but I, I don't want to get it in the glitter. So I don't want to, you know, pick and get the glitter. A lot of glue strings. So then that is what we have with the, the head, the antlers. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the dimensional paint We'll make his face, we'll do his eyes. Oh, let's get some pink on him for the cheeks. Let's get that in there. Let's show you that. I guess I do need one of the brushes still. I did have a roll of paper towels, I just didn't have water. And eventually, um, whenever we get our uh, basement, we were adding, um, the room that I film in, I want to make my craft room and then move all my supplies down here. But we also, we're going to make a bathroom. And then I do have a place for like a utility tub. So I will have like a water section in my craft room. Um, I plan on having a wall of ribbon because I have a ton. So I'm just going to dab in the pink and I'm going to dab... Um, away from the wet paint and I'm just going to dab a little so we get some like a blush a cheek again do a lot of this you know I mean the paint is still kind of wet So you can do this in stages, but that just gives it a little bit, uh, some cheeks. So let is, let's do the eyes cause those will be in the inner part and then we'll do the mouth and the eyebrows. Like I said, I'm not really good with this dimensional paint cause this big jar, it is a, um, four fluid ounces. So I, I don't know if because it, um, you know, because it's so big, you know, maybe you store, you're supposed to store them upside down. I don't know. So I'm going to make white here on the inside. So I'm just going to try to follow this black inside of his eye. Down and then I'm going to curve it a little. So then we can make it thicker here in the middle and curve. So that's what we're going to do with his eye. The dimensional paint, I don't know, it just gets, it's, to me it's like lumpy. Like, I don't know, like the cake batter, do you, uh, does anybody else do that cake batter? You kind of bang your pan on the table and to get the air bubbles out. And we're going to go up this side. I'm going to make it a little thicker in the middle here. So that's what we're going to do with his eyes. And we're going to give him two little white dots. I'm going to wipe off the tip. And we're going to give him two white dots. And the dot there. And dot there. So that's what we're doing for his eyes. 
And I don't know if I liked the curly cues that I had on the original um, sample. But on his antlers, maybe if they were closer to the same color, I didn't definitely didn't like the black on the ears. So I do have a shopping list already with some dimensional paint. So I was going to pick up some brown. So I'll pick up two different colors of brown. And then for his smile, I just made like a quarter circle, half circle on each side. And then I just did a half circle. So I went kind of near the corner of his nose or the edge of his nose. So we're just going to do that. And then we're going to do one of those on this side. And then we're going to swoop through the middle. And if you want, you could put glitter on the black. This black seemed like it was matte, so his smile's a little crooked. Um, if you don't like the dimensional paint, let it dry and it will peel right off of these, of this styrofoam. So let it dry completely like overnight. So I don't really like the little smile. So I will probably let it dry and I will fix that. And like I said, I didn't really like the white. Like I said, I, my sample kind of been laid on and everything else. So I didn't, I like the little curly cues, but I don't necessarily like them as white. You know, maybe I can get a brown or something. I will have to take a snippet of my fun foam to Walmart and see what kind of dimensional paint they have. That's the closest craft store that I have to me is Walmart. It's like less than 10 minutes away. So then we're going to take like I said, you could always um, do your straw. You could always get a shish kebab stick, put a straw in, decorate it with um, some tools. Some I know uh, at Christmas time or any time of the year, um, Dollar Tree has rolls of um, tool that has designs and stuff on it. So you could always get that. But I'm going to make an ornament, and like I said, I don't, um, you can do fishing line probably. I didn't have small enough twine, so that one's all nice and bent. But I'm just going to stick so you just, all you have to do is stick, oops, it came through the front, I was like, I knew it seemed like it went. Let me see if I can find a straight one. It's all kind of bent. Hmm. I think they were two inch. Yeah, two inch. Oh, and this one's like a nail head, so that says not even opened. So, we'll try to get another one. That one even didn't have the little eye hook. Oh, some of them are like that. Head and eye pins. Oh, okay, so I guess some are just straight flat heads, and some are eyes, the eye pins. So I really, you really need the eye pins. Okay, we'll try this again. I'm just going to use the same hole. Maybe I'll stain it up. And then there, you can't even really, you can't even really see it. But there is a little eye pin there. And that is the little craft for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, uh, please hit the subscribe button to see more how-to videos. If you are already subscribed, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. Have a good day.